Welcome back, Clan's Dwarves, to Rebuilding Cludgel's Glend. Last we had left, poor Lodrum here failed to create their artifact, and they're just walking around sad and dejected, so we'll have to keep an eye on them for sure. What we really need to work on today is major expansion. I've been following along with these guys, doing their small expansions, reclaiming the fort, but it's time, time for our big and grand plans and what that is i don't know exactly yet but we'll figure it out we will figure it out here but yeah we definitely want to get a solid spot for the workshops we just got workshops clogging the halls here we need a we got a good solid start to our storage for sure um but yeah we're gonna want trap halls falling traps maybe even try to get some magma up here we'll see we gotta get this fortress into ship shape here oh part of our construction to expand the stairs down here gotta protect it damn trolls just won't leave us alone all right take care of them boys there we go all right back to work these bastards just won't leave us alone run get them uh, oof all right that was good just taking a look here got a combat log here record keepers Oh no, there's this dead mangled body just sitting there at the bottom of our staircase. If you go up, you can see we're trying to build some stairs here and he must have slipped and fallen. Oh no, well, it's the cost of doing business I guess. Something else I noticed over here was this, this mud man, it's kind of neat. A humanoid made of mud which lives near water underground. Okay, so you're just, you got a head and everything else, you're just a man, made out of mud. Neat. And we might want to just set up some rock coffins for the, for the poor guy who's fallen down the, oh. <laughs> oh yeah, need a manager. Yikes. Ah, spring has arrived, just in time for the emotional <laughs> shock. Oh, Riff. What? You're our legendary woodcrafter. What's wrong with you, man? Lorbam? Whippert is dead? Uh, uh. Lorbam! Oh. It's uneasy after seeing a troll. A troll's dead body. A troll's dead body. Holy. Um. Oh, the unexpected death of somebody. Oh, Lorbam. You're. You're missed by many. I guess I could. We can make this into our uh, a dining hall. Would that make you feel better? We could do that. Alrighty, add new location, and we will do an a tavern, the Armored Oat. That's kind of cool. I like it. Gotta get some tables in here and make it make it nice and pretty for y'all. Um, poor little Jim over here is about to. Not doing too well, are you, Low Jim? Oh, poor buddy. Alrighty, well, just pick any room to die in, and I'll put you a coffin there for you, buddy. Uh, Snatcher, protect the children. Where's this? Where's this Snatcher? An elf thief? Thran and Mizelta. Why are you? Why are you stealing things? Is there a child in your bag? Not yet. Okay. So we're gonna have to... Let's send the military after ya. He's coming. He's coming. Hide your children. Oh, the dog. Get him, doggy. Hold him off while the, the military comes. They have to run all the way from... <gasps> wow. Look at you, puppy. Look at this, 13 pages of the dog biting this elf. And the elf going, I must withdraw! I must withdraw! No! The dog just, he just scratched him right in the head. Went unconscious, fell over. 
twisted his neck when he fell, and then the dog just kind of gnawed on his head, and... <laughs> 13 pages left, shaking the, the elf around by his head, tearing apart head skin. Oh, and then... Then he just bites his head, tearing the muscles. What a... what a pup! What a dog! Where are you, puppy? Zonerol. Zonerol. A medium-sized, highly social. M what a what a beast! Look at this warrior coming back to base, all proud and happy. Give that give that pup a bone. Well done. Got some elf merchants who decided to show up here. Let's get our. Oh, just walking past our dead body. Don't mind that. Ugh. Another cool little guy here. A couple of plump helmet men have decided to show up here. Oh, a whole family of them. Let's take a look at these guys. A small humanoid resembling a walking mushroom with arms and legs lives far underground near the water and soil. Its exterior is purple. Well, that's pretty cool. We'll have to open our homes up to you guys eventually. They come to check out to see if the forgotten beast has been gone yet. Greetings. We are enchanted by your more ethical works. We've come to trade. All right, you bastard. Let's see what you got. You have some peach-faced lovebirds, a pond turtle, a cardinal, a snail. These are all just vermin in a cage. Come on, guys. A badger, a yak, a mule, a cockatiel. Very cool. We'll take some of your barrels. Why not? Some buckets. Guy's been asking for some. Okay. Um, my our new manager, our new keeper of records, is not very good at this whole trading thing. <laughs> oh no. Uh, what should we give you guys? I don't even know what any of this is worth. Let's give you that. Okay, you're good with it. <laughs> I don't even know how much that was worth. First step done. We got the. Stairway here all completed. Just go all the way down. Just a nice 3x3 three three with that center. All set up. Oh, forgot this bottom rung here. Got a nice spot here for all our weird vermin that they brought. Got birds and turtles and a snail. Set that up in our new, our new inn here. Lovely. Oh. Oh no, he's getting thoughts in his head here. He's he's putting a ban on something. Let's, let's let's take a look at what he wants. Export of animal traps. Okay, and he's demanding an office, a dining room, a tomb, and some furniture. All right. Well, you're a baron now. That is why. Congratulations. All right. Guess we got to get working on setting that up for you. Just finishing clearing up that. Took that stalagmite out. Was getting a little a little cramped right here, so we took that one out. We'll probably expand the road here to accommodate our <laughs> giant staircase. We just plopped right in the middle of it. We have our first first bard joining our inn here, coming down to sing and partake in our merriment, He's asking why the hell there's so many damn birds in here. Ah, nice. Welcome, brothers. The king has sent you? Very good. What is going on with this guy? Doctor didn't. <laughs> I think a buzzard scared him away. It's okay. Many buzzards that live here. <laughs> no worries. Oh wow, we are getting quite the amount of immigrants. How many does that lead us? We're at what? 22. We're at 37 now. Pretty good. The new immigrants talk about the grand plans that the king has for this fortress. He heard word that we have reclaimed it, and he's asked for a few favors.
our smoothers had a mood here. Hopefully we don't <laughs> we don't screw this one up. All right. Okay, he's claimed a crafts dwarf shop, and he's off to gather his supplies. Ah! Looks like Toon was able to get... Do not screw this up. Oh, okay. Two deaths. I don't look at it anymore. He has it. We're not gonna forbid it by accident. Lee! This is actually pretty sad here. This is Lorbam's goat just sitting here in the shaft of where he died starving to death because he just misses him so um why are you guys all why are you guys all starving or the thirsty i mean oh yeah oopsie daisy forgot about them drinks let's get on that real quick guys real quick here we go toon has created is soon elir a desite earring Take a look at it. Is Nulir the everlasting joys? Oh, they're happy. Their civilization is on the verge of thriving again. A Dacite earring, all craft dwarf ship of the highest quality. Bands of Dacite cabochons. Object medicines with spikes of Dacite. Okay, pretty dwarfy earring. I love the name, the Everlasting Joys. How cool is that? They are still dancing away in this hallway. Man, these dwarves finally have something to celebrate, and they're doing it. We open the gate, and they just storm out, drinking and slurping up the water. Oh, <laughs> yikes! Hey, probably should not have forgot about the drinks. <laughs> We're gonna set up another coffin here next to the Jim. His 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 poor goat. No one wanted to feed him, <laughs> and he uh he might have starved to death. So we'll set up a nice coffin right next to your master. How about that? A human diplomat has arrived, and then there's their caravan. The humans, the elves, the dwarves. They all know of the mighty Fortress Cudgelglen is back in action. It's so cool. Here they come back into the fortress. They haven't seen these halls in years. Hundreds of years. Greetings, noble dwarf. There is much to discuss. Okay. This is a pleasant place you've carved out for yourself. There is much to share. It has been an honor, noble owner. I bid you farewell. Okay, let's take a look at the news. The height of tides, common practice, was known to be in the oily vault in Cudgels Glen, so we think they have some books. People are talking about our books in Cudgels Glen. Get out of here. Okay, so people... People know about our artifacts, and they're gonna they're gonna do some things about it. I think. Let's take a look here. The army of Ura glowing tongs marched on violent traded. Okay, so became an so Anvil Wad was conquered by the Confederation. So, oh no! Oh, what's that's not good. So this this kingdom. These red circles are taking over all of all of our old fortresses, and then they're just losing them. So they're not doing very well. We got our first petition. Kess, you want to eradicate monsters? Do you? Do 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 do. Kess, the human bowman. Here, this is a good place to search monsters. He has a bow. Some leather armor, a quiver with copper arrows. Okay. Well, Cass, I guess we'll let you in. I guess. Welcome to the fortress. Approved. And Cass is actually a legendary bookbinder. So if he survives, <laughs> I think it's like a year or two, 
they'll join the fortress, and we're going to have the best books that's ever been bound. Ever. <laughs> More migrants? Yes. Come, brothers. Let our civilization grow. They've been hiding in fear from the goblins. And they're coming out to celebrate. Oh no. We got a we got a giant cave spider that's just hanging out. How did you even get in? Did somebody let you through that door? Oh no. I hate giant cave spiders with a passion. They spray their webs. This this could be very well fortress ending. They really spray their webs at military dwarves, so I'm scared to even send them out. I'm gonna see if the civilians can maybe take care of it. Or maybe our dog. Our, our dog hero. Oh no, let's follow this guy for a little bit here. Okay, they're, they're, they're making little... They're beating him up. Okay, now he's just at peace with the fortress. <laughs> we broke its legs, it's crawling on the floor. And everybody else is okay with this. What? Guys, there's a giant... A, st a statue! Is, he just threw our statues! He's destroying our statues! Oh, you're just gonna pick them up and put them in the stockpile. You're okay with this. Um... Oh, uh, do I send our military? Because that could be horrible. He's just climbing and climbing around in our fortress. Oh no. This is so bad. It's a bitsy spider. Okay. He sees some... <laughs> He sees some statues over here that he's that he wants. Oh no. Okay, maybe we could just lock, lock him in there. Maybe that's a thing. Or we'll just throw a quick cage trap. Let's see if we can just drop a quick cage trap right there. Okay, he's hanging out by the door. Last I knew, spiders couldn't destroy doors. The last I knew. Let's get that. Let's get that cage set up here. Come on, let's get a cage in there. He's just gonna go plowing through all of our stuff. Ah! I don't think. I don't think he can destroy doors. Let's check on the status of this door. It's still the same condition. What are you doing, you silly little spider? All right, let's get a cage trap. Right, they're bringing the cage trap down. I really don't know. I didn't, never heard of spiders being able to destroy doors. I'm going to be sad if that's the case. All right. Well, at least we have him cornered in this vault. They ain't leaving this vault. Gotcha. You little punk. All right. Ooh. The Forgotten Beast, Sumex, has come. An enormous feathered ceratopsid? It is square shell, and it has a gaunt appearance. Its slate gray feathers are long and sparse. Beware its deadly blood. Okay. So that is not the Forgotten Beast that we were afraid of. And it is in the cavern layer that uh, we're open up to here. So we will need to, need to close this off. And we were taking down some stalagmites. I was kind of getting clearing up the area a bit, but we're going to have to cancel all that. Time to get inside, boy. Somebody pull that lever. Somebody pull the lever. He's coming. Pull the lever. Pull it. Oh, okay. He's walking away. Oh, okay. So the beast decides to just walk right on past us, which I'm okay with. I wonder if he... Okay, he's going after those Dralphas. At first, I wondered if he was knew, if he knew that this was not his, his cave. That there was a much fouler, forgotten beast that calls this place home. 
Okay, so he's just gonna roam our our uh, our cavern. Look at that—he's not even really attacking those Drouthas. What a strange beast! Oh, it's taking a swim now. This thing's already killed four Drouthas. He's going he's going after another. Doesn't even eat them; just kills them for fun. What a psycho! He likes to swim. So it can swim, and it loves Droutha blood. Oh. Oh. And it kills another one. Smearing the walls with its blood. Man, this thing is fast when it wants to be. It's just hauling. It can just smell these. It has a taste for Droutha blood now, and it's... It cannot be stopped. Samu Stew <laughs> wants to... You want to eradicate monsters? Really? I got a forgotten beast down there, and you wanna, you wanna ask if you wanna kill some monsters. You think you can handle it, some moon stew? Whatever, man. Good luck. Looks like some moon stew is a goblin, blah. But he's a legendary herbalist, so if, if he asked to join, I might say yes, but I might not. I don't know. It's a goblin. We'll see. This forgotten beast has gotten it pretty good, actually, by a group of troglodytes. They kind of jumped on him, surprised him, and just was beating away at him. He destroyed them all, but he's he's hurting pretty good. Oh, I think he's going to go take on a giant spider I saw crawling around. The spider's not having it. Shoot your webs at it! Oh, oh, he's giving a what for? Oh, the spider died. Man, that forgotten beast is taking a licking, though, huh? Oh, okay. We got another Fey Moon. Good luck to ya. Whatever happened to the one that? What was it? The he has to be dead by now. It was the founder. Oh, <laughs> I feel bad already. All right, let's see who's dead. The founder Meat Dwarf. Where is he at? Is his body up here just? There's a bunch of rotten plants. Oh, we must not have enough. Oh, we need to get some bags quick. Seeds are taking over our stockpile. Lee. This forgotten beast is amazing. It is clearing out these caverns. The whole population of the world <laughs> died in these caverns. Oh, we got Autumn here. We're doing all right. I mean, we got 46 dwarves, plenty of drinks and food, getting our net worth up there. We are doing okay. We've only had how many deaths? I think we lost the <laughs> our first founder, one of our founders, from from my mistake, and just a, a simple slip and fall accident. It could have happened to anybody, um, and just pages of dead everything. That uh, <laughs> Forgotten Beast is just going bananas down here, destroying anything that moves. Um, but it, it's gotten some good licks on it, but it is just... Its teeth are all knocked out. It is just a mess, though. So we are doing okay, though. Just have a quick temporary uh, cloth worksheet shops to get some bags going over here. And we're also, if you notice, putting some putting some of these pedestals and display cases to work. We had some artifacts, and we want to keep them safe, so we're going to... If they're not being held by a hand, we're going to keep them down here to be held on to. So that'll be good. Probably need to get a few more traps lined in the hallway to protect it. I know now that we can have villains coming to try to procure what is ours. Oh, another caravan has come. And they wanted... What did you guys want? You wanted earrings! Come, come, we have plenty of earrings for you. Just caught Zonoral over here trying to hurt the horses. Oh, jeez. Just leave the horses alone. Just leave them alone. That's a bad idea. You got some balls on you, dog. Alright, just leave the horses alone. Come on. They didn't do anything. I am your liaison from the mountain homes. Let us discuss your situation. 
you continue to impress. I have come empowered to elevate this land in the eyes of our realm. The world, it is same as ever. What request do you have of our merchants? Um, let's just go with the age-old wood. Would you please? All right, are you ready? He brought a lot of wood. I love seeing that. Let's get all the wood that you have. Not a ton of wood. And again, I will buy all the instruments you have. A cat, a hen, a boar, a dog, a cat, a dog. A hen, a rooster, a dog, a cat, a sow, a boar, a sow, a doe rabbit. I don't want no stinking rabbit. Cat, rooster, dogs, awesome, turkeys. Okay, we got some animals now. Take all the drinks that you have. <laughs> they must have heard about my uh, my little oopsie daisy with the uh, missing of the drinks. We'll take the leather. And we'll take all the food that you have. Because I think the last food that we just bought from the humans just spoiled. Because I didn't have enough room. Oops. Alrighty, and they have some books as well. Take all your codex. We got ourselves a little library here. Okay, you wanted earrings. Do we have them? We have earrings galore. So many bone earrings. Take them all. We <laughs> so many earrings. Don't lose them now. Oh, you, oh, you dropped one there. All right, let's just keep keep loading you up. Gotta get a thousand plus. 7,000 value out of uh, the trade that I'm asking you for. So I did have gold <laughs> earrings. I don't know where they went. Um, I'm assuming somebody probably is wearing them. All right, Bomrek, you're excited with the trade. Perfect. Well, then, we have finalized the import agreement. All right, sounds good. Let us discuss what you are willing to offer for your Krasmdorf ship. Well then, we have finalized the export agreement. Feel free to go over the documents. Alright, you guys would like... 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4... Wooden earrings! Did you guys have a preference last time? I don't remember wooden. Oy, okay. And then you also would really like... 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4... Meat! Well, I know a bunch of rotting meat <laughs> down in the caverns right now. Farewell, oh no. I look forward to meeting you next year. Our fortunes rise and fall together. Perfect. All right. Damn dog keeps chasing these horses everywhere. Leave him alone. What a crazy dog. Oh, jeez. The horse charges at the dog, collides with him. The dog's knocked over. Hey. Dog, I think you're... Oh, no, you're our hero, buddy. You can't be doing this. Really? I have to send out the freaking army to come save you? Bro, you have to stop. I'm going to pin you. I, I'm going to get a chain. Oh, you're a hero. Yeah, bring him back to base. I'll send the military out to chase the horses off, which is insane. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Poor dog. All right. So this mood, this dude's just been losing it about shells. He doesn't have anything. He needs shells. The only shells... <gasps> we do have that turtle in, a, <laughs> in the cage. I, I don't know how we would get him. We would have to have a fisher dwarf, which we don't have. Take the turtle, release it, dump it in some water, which the only water I can think of is in the caves, with the forgotten beast right now throw the turtle in in the pond and maybe re-catch him because you can't butcher a, a turtle from captivity can you i don't think you can dude how am i gonna get you shells why is this a, why you gotta be like this Lee. oh no <laughs> oh the magma crabs struck again they, they came out of one of these holes we were, we were smelting down some iron that we found. They jumped us. Oh no. Oh gee, it was our 
legendary wood crafter that I made become a metalsmith. Oh, the crab pushes him, but it was deflected. The crab misses him, and then he's just caught in a pool of magma. I was caught in smoke underground as he's melting. Oh no. The magma crab jumps out of the metal boot's flight path. That's neat. Oh jeez. And there he is, just a smoky mess there at the bottom of our magma. That's awful. And the crab's gonna strike again. Holy. We gotta do something about that. It's not safe it's smelting right above where the crabs are at. Holy. Well, this forgotten beast does not want to leave. It's kind of taken over the caverns. I'm thinking we're just going to have to expand into the other two caverns to get our trees. Because we need trees. There's no other trees. We can trade for them, but they don't bring enough. Well, clans dwarves, I think this is a good spot. We lost, we lost one founder from the fall. We're losing another one. Yep. <laughs> Quit insane. Gone berserk. Oh no, that's a violent one. Luckily our militia's right above. Oh, uh, that's a... oh man, this is this fort's falling apart. We lost one to magma. I guess we should probably take care of this, huh? Oh man. All right. Best of luck, everybody. Put him out of his misery. Oh, poor fella. Yeah. Anyways, I think this is a good time to put in a spot here. Hey, this is the death episode. <laughs> Anybody have any ideas on the turtle shell? Or on shells in general for that? No, it doesn't even matter. He just died. Never mind. <laughs> have a good day, guys.